All right, so quickly we just record the chords down, and for that I'm using M1, like I said. Just hit our record and uh, let's go. Okay, let's take that again. I need a lower octave. Yeah. So I like that, just quantize it. Then I'll be playing on that chord from In Memoriam from... Let's play a second chord with let's call this in. So let me try and run the bees, and for that, I'll be using a um, Nexus sign bees. Using Nexus sign bees, and. Yeah, okay, so let's just slide it on leg legato slide, so we have those slides. So I'm basically I've just played around with the bass. I like the way the bass slides, so. <laughs> so let me just. I'm sure you have with your headphones to be able to hear this beat. Baby, I want that for you. The way you roll it, they give me the car cause you. When I do, I know they come for you. Baby, I don't talk for tonight. You roll it, they give me the car cause you. When I do, I know they come for you. Baby, I don't roll it, they give me the car cause you. When I do, I know they come for you. Baby, I don't talk for tonight. Okay, so we can just quickly side chain this bass to our kick now. Let me just solo the, the percussion sound. So just side chain it to our kick and um, just load the limiter there. Just side chain. I like 
right way sounding. Let's try and take this an octave. So basically, we're already creating a vibe, already feeling it, already liking it. vibe so you can see how easy it is normally it's going to take me less time to make this build but because i'm talking i have to be interactive so it takes more time so these are stuff you could do on your beat you could just cut it out and let the roll slide anywhere the roll is coming you could just pause the beat then bring it back again chop your beats to make your beat really really interesting and carry the listener along so yeah oh. session horns some trumpets and um let's just use trumpet too oh. i do have a preset for my stuff i load basically for my guitar and trumpets so it just sounds wet carried away so guys basically i'm just show you guys how simple it is because i hear people saying ah, well, i can make beat on my own but when, when it comes to making beats with an artist in the studio it's really really um i really feel nervous 
just be bold, just try to get the percussions, whatever you could just do to make the artist vibe. When the artist start vibing, you yourself will be very, very happy. So once the artist could start nodding his head right, and the artist just pressing his phone and just stays on one corner and maybe even sleep off right itself. <laughs> so guys, don't be bold enough. Just try to carry the artist along and doing it with one, two, three artists, you get really, really good with it. So guys, just wanted to show you how easy and simple it is. You could just start with your, either your melodies or your drum percussions and you build from there, this beat still needs stuff to be added. So I'm going to show you guys basically how quickly. This is just um, about nine tracks, and so it's sounding nice already. So sometimes you could just use like two, three tracks, and it sounds nice already. So guys, let's just play this again so you listen and hear what it sounds like. Oh, Yeah, guys, so if you're new here, kindly subscribe to this channel. Turn on the post notifications. So whenever I post, you get to know because I always post amazing stuff. And you don't, you don't want to miss out. You don't really, really want to miss out. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up so more people get to see this video. And if you have any question, if you have any observation, if you have any corrections, just let me know in the comment section. And I'm sure going to reply every, every comment. Thank you, guys. I think I should... Okay, thank you, guys, for watching. See you guys in my next video. Be out.